If you love walking through and experiencing the wonderful coastal rainforest, you will absolutely love the kelp beds off the Channel Islands because they're quite similar in many respects. In both cases, you have the tall columnar organisms. So well, this provides an amazing diversity of invertebrates and fishes. I'm Jim Coyer. I'm an undersea specialist on board the National Geographic Venture. And right now we are on an expedition to explore the Channel Islands National Park. Off the coast of Southern California, there are eight islands, collectively called the Channel Islands. Four ones in the north are called the Northern Channel Islands, and the four islands in the south are called the Southern Channel Islands. Right now we are off Santa Cruz, and we are looking at kelp beds. Limblad guests can experience the underwater world in a couple of different ways. They can do it by the kayaks because they can get right up to the kelp canopy. They can also do the on the Zodiac cruises. The guests can see the details of the underwater world, what's beneath that canopy, through the videos that are produced by the undersea team. So the person who really got me interested in marine biology was Jacques Cousteau. And Jacques Cousteau stated that this place, these islands, were one of the most exciting and diverse places he's ever dove in his diving career. He marveled at the amount of life that was associated with the kelp beds, and he equated it to what you see in a city, to see this plethora of invertebrates that are associated with the kelp, the fishes that are also with the kelp, and obviously the main character, the giant kelp. There are marine protected areas among these Channel Islands, and studies have shown that within these marine protected areas, we tend to have bigger fish, we tend to have more of the crustaceans that would normally be harvested. As you find all sorts of invertebrates, you find sunlight shafting through like in the cathedral. It can serve as an example for other places around the world to form the optimal conditions for this wonderful world of kelp and the kelp forest, which I'm so passionate about. So I've been doing research in kelp forest for almost 50 years now, and it's my hope that my passion can be expressed to the guests so that they can also become passionate about this. An incredibly wonderful, impressive, memorable kelp forest.